Hello, my name is Leslie Bartlett. I'm a professor of educational policy studies at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and an associated editor with the journal Educação e Realidade. The most recent issue of Educação e Realidade has a thematic section dedicated to the anthropology of education, featuring scholars from Brazil, the United States, Chile, Mexico, and Australia. The first article in the thematic section answers the questions, what is the anthropology of education and what does it contribute to the study of education? The article explains how anthropological studies reflect a commitment to holism, the culture concept, cultural relativism, the value of cross-cultural comparison, social theory, and naturalistic ethnographic methods particularly observations and interviews conducted over a long period of time. Anthropologists of education study not only schooling, but all forms of education, informal and non-formal, which includes really all social interactions. By using the fundamental commitments of ethnography and by studying education broadly conceived, Anthropology of Education offers important insights to the field of education. The approach offers a corrective to existing theory, showing the limitations of grand generalizations. At the same time, careful attention to people's practices and sense-making generates theoretical insights that can be transferred to other situations. The field cautions us against relying too heavily on data that is produced from a single source, like a self-report, a survey, or a single interview, or relying on data that's produced in abnormal circumstances, like an experiment. Anthropology of education insists that the meanings people make of their own experiences are consequential, even causal, and should not be ignored. In these ways and others, anthropological studies make important contributions to the field of education. The articles in this special thematic section highlight state-of-the-art conceptual and empirical work in the anthropology of education. They demonstrate school ethnographies and attention to education broadly conceived. The pieces consider the cultural production of inequalities linked to gender, race, or ethnicity, nationality and the relationship to the nation state, migration status, language and literacy, age, and religion. The articles offer prime examples of how theory and concepts such as literacy or letramento, the culture of bureaucratic accountability, trans worlding, or civic disjunctures precede, shape, and are produced by ethnographic study. The articles in this special issue demonstrate the range of research methods in this exciting field. They showcase the two core methods of interviews and long-term participant observation, as well as innovative methods, including transnational care constellations, discourse analysis, network analysis, humanizing participatory research, and aboriginal research protocols, among others. They demonstrate several hallmarks hallmarks of the best contemporary anthropology of education, including the value of reflexivity, the link between epistemology and research methods, the importance of going beyond self-reported data to include observations, the need to simultaneously consider cultural webs of meaning and structures of inequality, the difficult work of developing a cultural analysis, and a commitment to equity. They also ask surprising questions about human experience, such as how popular culture shapes gender and vocation, how supposedly progressive educational reforms get derailed and diluted, how schools insist on culturally arbitrary knowledge forms, the cultural politics of knowledge production, how collaborative research can foster equity, how interpretations of history inform political engagement, how youth use a community-based educational space to build pan-ethnic coalitions and develop their own agency, 
how migration trends are reformulating fundamental family relationships and educational experiences, and how refugees use social media to refigure their learning and challenge normative educational experiences. In short, the articles in this special issue exemplify quality anthropological studies of education that raise new questions, develop incisive conceptual frameworks, use innovative methods, address critical topics, and generate new insights about the human experience of education. We invite you to consult these articles and we hope you enjoy them. <laughs>